what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sash and in today's video from the title down below you already know what we're gonna talk about your girl is gonna do a 360 life resuction if it's your first time here, thanks for coming. And if you're a returning person, thanks for keep coming. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Run, come over, Sash page. Come watch the nice and anyways, guys, we'll be going straight into the video. So as stated earlier, I'll be getting a 360 life perception. And I'd assume that most persons already know what a 360 life perception is. But for those who don't know, it's removing the fat from your abdominal area your side and your back so that's what i'll be getting today is january 18 and surgery is january 19 so that means surgery is tomorrow so for my surgery it will be done in kingston in jamaica at windsor wellness center that's on windsor avenue in kingston and you guys can go there and check it out uh, if you would like to get your life resuction done you just need to go in and get a consultation and uh, you get the rest of the information so i went in i did my consultation i did my blood work everything came back just fine today i did my covid test and it came back negative so i'm ready for surgery um this is just my booklets i would say basically this is just a booklet to, to read through to know the things that you're supposed to do and you're not supposed to do before and after surgery now this right here is my COVID test results. So the big negative right this is so clear for surgery. Next thing I'm gonna talk about um, is what else? Oh, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I bought for the surgery. Cause you know you're gonna do the surgery, but there are certain things that you need to have for your results to be perfect so i'm gonna show you guys the things all right guys so all these things that you're seeing on the bed are things for surgery tomorrow however i'm gonna show you guys a little 360 showdown of my body for you to see what i look like now because i know that most persons are gonna say but you don't need a 360 like well, because they look nice or you're sexy or you are right the way you stay but I am uncomfortable with the belly fat, so I have to take care of it. So with that said and done, I'm show you how I look and then we run through. So I'll figure more than likely that you guys have saw what I look like and you know you have an idea why I'm getting this surgery. But anyways, we're gonna run through this quick and fast. So I have some maternity pads. These are confidence, confidence brand, and I guess it's to put over the cuts to catch whatever fluid or blood comes out. I know. These are just some panties. Um, these, these are bed liners, so I'm gonna line these out on the bed. You're gonna see in a video. I'm gonna line them out on the bed that whatever blood or fluid comes from my body, it doesn't go on my sheet or my mattress. It will go on this. And this is the same thing. Only difference is this one can be washed and these will be this way. Um, I have my lipo foams. I have two lipo foams. So I have a wireless bra. This is something comfortable to wear under the far You know, you don't want to wear your joke here. So I got three of these. Um, this is a backboard. Yes, it's a backboard. And this would go in the back area. If 
for compression in the back of the for, uh, for compression sorry and we have we have our abs board so this goes in the front of the faha and yes for compression so this is the abs board all of these stuff well the faha the abs board the back board and the life of home were provided by my surgeon at a cost and uh, this the faha and this is a size extra large so I'm starting out at an extra large but you know as time goes by I'll have to have it adjust you know to be tighter to get me snatched let me see if I show you oh I have white well, I may get the rest of things them. I have my my dental soap. This is to smell good. This is to take a shower before surgery. And uh, this right here is a female urinal. Urinal me for say or funnel. So you know you place this. I don't know if I want to put this already and do one half for though. And it comes with a little cup where you can let it out in the cup. But these are some of the things. Well, these are all of the things for surgery. Yes. <laughs> so, my son come back again. May I go make a video showing you guys preparing the bed for the after surgery so I'm not supposed to eat from 12 o'clock tonight up until I do my surgery I'm not supposed to eat anything so I'm not a bit hungry but I eat something like say 10 o'clock or 4 I'm gonna eat something like about 10 o'clock but regardless of me eating something 10 o'clock, I'm still going to wake up in the morning and I'm the same way, but you know, we got to get this body snack, so whatever doctor says, that's what Sasha is going to do. And if doctor say don't eat, Sasha never not eat. Because Sasha now want to eat, and when she goes, Sasha can't get to do her surgery. Because I can never follow instruction when the doctor said what. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna prepare the bed and show you guys what it looks like. So this like. is me preparing the bed. That floral thingy is plastic, and I'm going ahead and putting the disposable sheet under the sheet so that anything goes on the sheet doesn't go on the mattress because even if the sheet gets fed it doesn't matter because I'm using an old sheet. Even if anything catches the sheet I'm going to throw it away and that's me going ahead and putting some more disposable sheet on top of the sheet. And that's it. So these are some tablets that I was taking about one month ago. Iron tablet and uh, vitamin C. I was taking those prior to my surgery, but I haven't taken any from about last week. I got myself some Gatorade, you know, I have to keep hydrated. I'm not sure how my appetite would be if I would want to eat food, so I got myself some Ensure, you know, Ensure I can fill my belly. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got myself some water. Surgery morning. Guys, it's finally surgery morning. Hey guys, it's officially surgery day. Yes, so it's officially surgery day, January 11th. So, I'm currently waiting to leave out. 
I just took my shower and I currently have on no moisturizer, so no lotion, no perfume, no makeup. I just use a little bit of lip balm because my lips are going to be dry. The only thing I have on is deodorant. And I'm currently wearing a tall dress so that my skin, dry skin not show up. Never show no um, soon. Um, what else? What else do I need to say before I go? Alright, so this is what I'm wearing. As you can see, it's a, it's a tall dress. A black dress. Oh. And as I said before, I chose something tall that, that my skin doesn't show. Even though I'll be in my private motor vehicle so nobody won't see me. But when I go to the office, persons might be there. I'm just wearing a Crocs. You know, something easy. Yeah, slip my foot in. Um, my bag is packed over there. I currently only have one for her, the two packs of maternity pads, and uh, a change of dress because you know this dress is a little bit tight. So I have a bigger dress, but oh, like my belly start to chew up more since <laughs> since we had the surgery. Yes, um. So I have the Faha, the two packs of maternity pads, a dress to change, change your underwear, um, and uh, the bra. Um, tomorrow will be my first massage. Tomorrow I will take like the, the abs board, the back board, the lipofoam and all those things for tomorrow. Um, where I'm doing my surgery, they have a massage therapist there so I get to do my massage there at a cost but that's a good thing so I don't have to be up and down trying to find a massage therapist um what else do I need to tell you guys before I go because I'm going short I feel weird not wearing any jewelry but I had to take all my jewelry out so I'm not wearing any earrings I took off my Pandora bracelet my nose ring is out I only have in these but I'm gonna take them out as soon as I reach there I'm gonna ask them to put them back in for me after my surgery I think that's about it for today thank you for watching guys thank you for staying tuned I'll be back again with more updates for you guys so stay tuned for the results please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and for now, I'm out.